you can relax. That's the name of our podcast. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Relax the Podcast. I'm Colleen Ballinger, and this week we're back with Carrot. Live from the uh, car camping um, part of Coachella. We, <laughs> we always are not. We go to Coachella every year. If you're listening. We do not. If you're listening specifically, um, you can't see us. We're at Coachella as we are every year because we love it. Eric is a liar. We love festivals. No. Okay. So we're in our best outfits. <laughs> Let's talk about Coachella. We're we're skipping the relaxes for a minute. We'll get to our who needs to relax. We got to get week. to it because I got a few. I have a couple, but I we're going to talk about who and what needs to relax this week. But first, I guess um, Eric really wants to talk about Coachella because he loves festivals so much. So uh, Coachella just happened, and it's happening again, isn't it? Two weekends. It's two weekends. Mm -hmm. uh, I have been in my lifetime twice. Right. We've but it's, about it's this, been yes. a while. You've never been. No. You ever been to not. a music festival? Not that I know of. No. I don't think I've been to comedy festivals. A lot of those. Okay. Never a music festival. Never a music festival, huh? Not that I can remember. Not like Bonnaroo. Bonnaroo. I've never heard of that one. Bonnaroo's in Tennessee. Yeah. Nope. That's, that's like the Coachella of like the East so, Eastern Seaboard. No, I have not. Um, but do you have a game? I did. Yeah. I wanted to talk to you, you know, because you're so into all kinds of music, not just like one person specifically. You're into like your musical you're, theater. Yeah. And, Broadway, theatrical right. music. Yeah, but you're also like you have like your your finger on the pulse for what like people are listening to now, like new bands <laughs> that are coming up and are like and are big. Yeah, um, Taylor Swift. Is, so I just kind of wanted to I know like, all her things that are coming right, out. Right, Taylor Swift, of yeah. course, that indie indie pop. Yeah, the indie pop um, star. Taylor but Swift. So yeah, Coachella headlined this year by, of course, uh, no doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Is that in that right? No doubt, Gwen Stefani. I literally, she's there. Yes. I know you're I'm surprised. I'm just I know, surprised but I can never you tell if you're right. being sarcastic or not. Cause like sometimes I answer questions that you have, like you think it's funny to ask me questions. I won't know the answers to. And you say I'm right. But then I'm not. So I can never tell if you're joking. It's so funny. I remember being like getting my driver's license. And one of the first CDs I had in my car was the no doubt CD. Um, the, the big one, the one that had like a peach or an orange on the front. Yeah. It was like paradise. Yeah. I had that one. Something. <laughs> Um, it's funny you said you, when you got your driver's license because Olivia Rodrigo, Rodrigo sang with Gwen Stefani at Coachella. Really? Mm -hmm. What did they, what song? Looks like I know more than you about well, this so music it festival. It sounds like it. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, so I have a little pop quiz here. Just a little, little something. Okay. Oh no, I'm scared. Uh, I'm going to name. Okay. So the first question. I'm going to name four DJs. These are these are performers at the festival that go by DJ something. Oh. And you have to, and one of them's fake and you have to tell me which one's fake. Oh, okay. Fun. So we have DJ Noah. Okay. DJ Snake. Okay. DJ Seinfeld. Mhm. Mm DJ Tennis. Okay. Which and one of those Those are all real? No, one of them is fake. But the other three are real? But the other three are real and you have to tell me which one is fake. These these are DJs performing at Coachella who go by the moniker DJ DJ Noah, DJ Snake, DJ Seinfeld, DJ Tennis. Oh, man. Um, I'm going to guess this is a trick question because it feels like Seinfeld would obviously be not correct. Like it feels like there's no way there'd be a DJ named DJ Seinfeld. However, <laughs> you put it third. Right. So oh, you're to me, that means that you're okay. trying to put it in the middle there to trick me a little bit. Maybe. I don't think you'd put the wrong answer at the end, even though DJ Tennis also sounds like not a real DJ name right. at all. So you're, but you're more so concerned I'm, mathematically the order of them and, and working through this as if it were some sort of game as opposed to yes. just like. I don't. You, I've never heard of any of them. OK. DJ Noah sounds like it's a person. That sounds like a real thing. DJ Does Snake it. also sounds like it'd be a real one. But then I'm also like, is that the trick that DJ Snake is actually not the real one? Right. But DJ Tennis is pretty wild wild <laughs> no i know i know um i'm gonna say dj tennis is incorrect but i don't think you'd put the wrong answer as the final one i think you'd put it in the middle mm -hmm. well i know you and i know how your brain works and so yes you're right it is a trick question but it's a different kind of trick they are all actual djs performing really? at Coachella. Yeah. dj seinfeld wow dj tennis wow that's all amazing right. all right good for them uh next question okay is this what one of our children wants to name a kitten if we get it, mm -hmm. or is this a band performing at Coachella? Okay, there's only one biscuits. Yeah, that's uh, that's what our child wants to name a kitten when we get a kitten. Mm -hmm. So that's the correct. The question was trick question. It's both. Okay, 
He Great. wants to name if we get a kitten biscuits. Also, there is a band performing at Coachella this weekend. Limp biscuits? Isn't no, that a just band? biscuits. Oh, so they're not. They're firm, possibly. What? They're not limp. Biscuits spelled without the U. Limp biscuit was spelled also differently, I believe. I don't remember. Like with a Z, I think. A Z. Biscuit. Huh. Anyway. Okay. Uh, three bands. Only one of these is real. My gosh. The Beths, uh -huh. the Sarahs, the Karens. Only one is real. Mm -hmm. uh, no trick here. The Beths. Correct. Thank you. I think the Did Sarahs you say just just because I did, went first? No, I did it because the Sarahs. Sarahs too common of a name. Karens too jokey of a name. And so, yeah, I guess Beth. So I did a bad job picking the fake names. No, I'm just overanalyzing. This is why I didn't do well in school on tests. Okay. Because I, I don't think about the actual question. I analyze. I can't imagine you finishing a test. It, I'm very, it takes me a long time. And I analyze, doesn't matter if I have the right answer. I overanalyze the order of what the questions are in. And uh -huh. all of the answers and process of elimination of these two are similar. So that might mean one of those is correct because they're trying to trick me with one of them is wrong. You know Scantron? I mean? Scantrons are brutal, man. Scantron was brutal. Because also, if I got a bunch of right answers and they were all like, let's say they were all C in uh -huh. a row, I'm like, that's too many in a row that I see. That can't, one of these has got to be wrong. Yeah, it was not Battleship. It's a, it's a multiple choice test. We, were you works. also like really like obsessive about how you had to fill in the entire circle? Of course. Other, other you, otherwise, you think they're going to like get it wrong? Yeah, and it can't go outside the line of the circle. Right, yeah. Yeah, very stressful. I'm left handed too, so like my hand would then oh, smudge. Oh, no. Um, yeah, it's, Scantron's, uh, stressed me out. You ever cheat on a Scantron? Mm -mm. You never like looked over at the desk next to you to see like, uh, like mm. the shape of like their, like the, the, pa yeah, probably. the pattern. I probably did, but I wasn't like, I did it for the whole, it was more like to check my work. It wasn't, I don't think Sneak I cheated on Scantrons to be like, what are all the answers? I think it was more like starting to get really stressed that I did it wrong. And I'd look and see other people's designs to see if it was the same as mine. Like similar. Yeah. But it everybody, like is that something everybody does is like kind of, kind of like peek no. out of the corner of their eye, like other people's. I don't think so. I don't desk. think it's, is it common for everyone to just like cheat? I think that's, on tests? that would be cheating. Well, nowadays I feel like you could just have AI do a test for you, like from your phone. Like you Yeah. I always think about like how much different it would be to be in school now. Cause like back when I was a kid, right. It's like, you had to like, you research in actual books and in libraries books. Yeah, and like Encyclopedia Britannica. it wasn't like on, I mean, there was a little bit of computer action happening, but not Modems. much like people have cell phones. They can just like Google information on. And like, I know, I wonder how they combat that in like high schools and stuff with like, they're like no writing Apple papers. No Cause Apple literally can't, during... can't an AI thing, like write a paper for you. Sure. Definitely. Chat is chat GPT. Yeah. Oh my God. We're so old. Keep going with <laughs> uh, this pitch. Uh, thing. Okay. Um, Two of these are performers at Coachella this weekend, and they are Lil's. Ready? Okay. Lil Yachty, mm -hmm. Lil Caesars, Aww. Lil Sebastian, mm -hmm. Lil Uzi Vert. Which are the Uzi two? Uzi Vert. <laughs> yeah. Two Which of them are. Two of them are real Lil's performing at Coachella. Oh. I, I don't think you One made up weekends. Uzi Vert, even though that's wild. I can't imagine you being like, "I'm gonna trick her with Uzi Vert." So I feel like Uzi Vert has to be a real one. Mm -hmm. What were that? Little Caesar is little. So what else? Lil Sebastian and Lil Yachty. Hmm. I'm going to go crazy and say Lil Caesars is and Lil Uzi Vert. Vert. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, Lil Caesars, of course, is the famous pizza, pizza chain. I know, but I thought maybe it was also because you're doing a lot of that. You're doing a lot of like it's uh, this and this. Uh, Lil Sebastian is um, a fictional horse from the television program Parks and Recreation. Okay. Um, and Lil Yachty is a performer at Coachella. So Lil Yachty, Lil Uzi Vert. But I was right on Uzi Vert. Uzi Vert, yes. Real person. I don't know if they're Lil or not. Um, Wait, so, but you said they're all Lils. Well, I don't know. I didn't, it was like a joke. Like oh, I was, you didn't know I, they're I, like It was, physically it was like a little. hype joke, yeah. Okay. Uh, last, last one. Ice cream, ice skates, ice spice, ice, ice spice. slice. Ice spice, come on. Ice slice? Ice spice. She seems to tell herself, of course I know who ice okay. spice is. For some talented. reason, I was like, she's not going to know who Ice Spice is. And I can make it. She literally sings in Karma with Taylor Swift. It's just fun wordplay for me. And Taylor Swift was there hyping her up in the crowd. Was she? Yes. Well, of course, we will be there for DJ Seinfeld, Biscuits, The Beths, The Lils. No, we will not. Ice Spice. Oh, my gosh. Is there more? 
Uh, no, that is, that's, okay. uh, you pass. I think I did. You pass. Um, I had a fun thing for you. It's, it's funny. We both thought of a Coachella thing. We never really talked through what we're going to talk through on this podcast. We just sit down and surprise each other. Yeah. And we both wanted to talk about Coachella, which is funny because I very much am not interested in Coachella and we have not spoken about Coachella once in real life. Not one time. Um, do you have FOMO this week of at it? All? Absolutely not. Because I feel like you actually it. like some of the performers I do, this year. I do. You were showing me one person who you Chapel think Chapel Roan. Yeah. Oh my gosh. She's fabulous. That's, uh, that other, Sabrina that Carpenter. Girl. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, I Love No Doubt. And of Olivia course. Rodrigo is there. Was there. Surprised there. Um, but those are the people like I was excited about. The Bleachers performed. I think it's just Bleachers. Oh, Bleachers. Uh-huh. Sorry. The Mm -hmm. I just know you like them. I like a couple of those songs. Um, anyway, uh, so I thought, you know, I wasn't going to quiz you. I was just going to get your opinion on some of the outfits, because the thing about Coachella to me is I never even knew it was a, f a music festival at first. Yeah. Many years ago, when I first heard of Coachella, um, I was like, oh, it's just a place where people go and like dress up. And I thought it was like a carnival because I kept seeing like a Ferris wheel. The big Ferris wheel that they so had. So I thought yeah. it was like a, like a fair or carnival that people like cared a lot about what they wore to. And it was just like a fashion carnival or something. I think, yeah, it's like, it's, it's like art installation-y kind of like yeah, there's, there's things like that that they yeah. have every year. So I didn't um, even know it was like a music festival at first. Well, I, so, it wasn't really like a fashion show. I, when I, the couple of years I went, this is a while ago, this is a long mm -hmm. time ago. Um, well, as long as I've known about it, now been it's, an influencer, as uh -huh. people call it. Um, that's what I've seen. Cause I've only known like, you know, when I first started hearing about it, I was, it was like my influencer friends were going and making sure their outfits were cute. And yeah, I was like, how? oh, what is this thing? So anyway, because that's like what a lot of people care about who are not there. Uh-huh is like, what are people wearing to this event? Okay. I thought we could look at some outfits and Love talk it. about them. Okay. So um, first and foremost, the queen of everything, Taylor Swift, was there with oh, Travis Kelsey. Show me. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? So I want you to rate their outfits. Tell me what you think about these Coachella outfits. Does this hat say Happy Gilmore? I like Travis Kelsey's outfit. I do. He th that guy Can has- you rate it? Out of, like, what do you mean? Like score it? Yes. Uh, I'll give it like it's it's cool, man. Those I will I would I want all that stuff that he's got. I mean, okay. Chucks that can't be comfortable. Chucks? Oh my gosh! I, I like think chucks are comfortable so comfortable. Are they not comfortable? But I guess like for fashion wise, for that, yes. I mean, I have those chucks. So like, I mean, I give it like a, like like an eight, man. Happy Gilmore hat. That's pretty cool. What about her? Uh, her. <sighs> I don't think it's that great. <gasps> I don't think it's that. It's, it's just like all kind of black and like uh, you know. Like some sort of name oh, brandy, like purse you. strap. And like, she's just wearing a, that she's doing like the baseball celebrity hat, baseball thing where it's like, you're, I mean, you're Taylor Swift. Like, oh, she, there she is next to Ice Spice. Um, I would give her a four. A four? How <laughs> dare you give the queen a four? I don't know. Four. I don't know. Uh, out of what? I think she looks cute. Out of, are we doing out of 10? I don't even, I've never, I don't think I've ever rated an outfit. I feel mean. This feels like mean girl stuff. He kind of looks like he's wearing pajamas to me. I, I like, like it. I like it. Yeah. Um, and I bet uh, you that guy, every single outfit that he wears uh -huh. is like, a, like there's a stylist involved. Yeah, I, I bet so too. Yeah. Like a personal stylist. I think all stylist. these people have that. Like have a personal stylist. Same yeah. with her. Yeah. I, I would assume. Never had. Yeah. I've never had that ever for anything. For not one instance. You don't need it. You're very stylish. No. I need it. And I've had them a couple of times. They're very expensive and, um. Yeah, it's they're expensive because they're very good at what they do. Because um, you have to like pay for the clothes, well, and for the person's time and, and opinion. I would assume it depends and, on the stylist. The only stylist I've ever had, I didn't have to pay for the clothes. I pay for but the you stylist. Give the clothes back. Yeah, you have to give them back. So you think he's probably giving all that stuff back? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he buys them. Maybe he buys the. I don't know. I don't know every ver them. every person's experience. I just know my experience was like million dollars a year. Yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, Haley Bieber. She's wearing like a green shirt. And... What do you think of Are this? Are the hearts like on the shirt or is that like an em emoji on the photo? I don't know. Kind of looks, that's what I thought too. It looks like emojis. Yeah, she, I mean, it's cool because it's she's wearing the Umbro soccer jersey that I wore in sixth grade with my traveling soccer team. Is that team. a soccer jersey? It looks like the mm -hmm. Umbro jersey I wore in sixth grade soccer. Mm -hmm. We had to remember bring the orange slices. Mm -hmm. And then we took our soccer picture and we all had orange slices in our mouth mm -hmm. and we smiled. Um, yeah, I mean, no rating. Three, 
three. <laughs> well, here's okay. I, I I've noticed something. I with am the, a fashion uh, police. I've noticed something with the fashion this year. Is I feel like Coachella fashion cop. When I think of fashion, what cop? <gasps> I did not hear that word. I didn't did hear the P. Hear? I heard a different word that starts with C O. And I was like, fashion excuse you, sir. You thought that was just just Yeah, I was just proclaiming anyway, that I am a fashion um, cock. <laughs> okay. Well, I I've yeah, been that too. I've been very surprised by the fashion this year because I feel like when you think of Coachella fashion, I think of like Flower Crown. Flower crown and like drapey beige. Like see through. see through dresses, kind of. Is it a shirt? Something's Is it a dress? Pierced. I'm a lot of butts. There might be a piercing. Um, butts. Yeah, I think of all these things. Yeah, like really pretty, flowy, earthy. Like I don't care about anything, and this looks like I got it from a thrift store, but it was actually six thousand right, dollars. It's like yeah. that kind of vibe. And this year, it's not that at all. Like she literally does look like she's dressed for like a soccer game or something. Haley Bieber. Um, yeah. So to yeah, play the, the left, fashion left defense yeah. is much different than what I've seen in the past. Okay, here's okay. Charlie D'Amelio. This is a little more Coachella y to me. She's I can see her underwear. See her. Um, she looks very pretty. Kind of like a '90s vibe. Um, what what is this Celsius thing? Celsius water. Is it water? I thought so. Yeah, it's like a brand that's like. Are they just? They're paying to be just paying every, everybody, huh? I know. I don't know. I bet Celsius probably paid for these influencers to be there. Well, she's. I mean, there's. She's standing in front of a big sign that says Celsius, and she's yeah. holding a, what I believe. Yeah. To so be I'm a Celsius assuming that Celsius hand. paid for her to uh, go, but not for this podcast. Um, no. <laughs> so it's, uh, she looks more more like kind of. Uh, I feel like like backup dancer in like a music video. Yeah, I think she looks pretty. Um, Very pretty. Uh, I like her chunky shoes, her chunky, I love a chunky boot. Yeah. Like she looks like a backup dancer in a nineties music video. Uh, so five. Oh, come on. Fashion. James cop. Charles. What is It's like, they're all like from the movie Dune or something. Oh, that's a good description of what the outfits are this year. Everyone yeah, looks like they're everyone from the like movie Dune. Everyone like just saw Dune and it's like, do you even know what I'm talking about? I know the, I've never seen it, but I know the vibe of Dune. I feel. Yeah. Like, like if you told me this desert, was a picture. I mean, I guess it takes place. Yeah. It's like future desert planet. If you told me this Sci-fi. picture of James Charles or of Charlie D'Amelio in like all black, but like bizarre futury sci-fi outfits, if you showed me one of these pictures, like this is from the movie Dune, I'd be like, oh yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Well, I find that maybe this conversation isn't even that interesting. I love it. Um, it was, the only thing that I would wear so far is Travis Kelsey's stuff, man. What about? Pretty into those pants. Well, well, we don't, we don't, we're not, we're, I'm not a fashionista. We don't even be talking about this. It's also a podcast. Yeah. So this um, is maybe a bad idea. Well, what, show me what else, what else you got? Well, no, I'll talk about something else. No one's, had, no one's gotten a, a 10 out of 10 yet. I don't think anyone will for you. I mean, I think a lot of them do. You but, right now? Well, that's what I want to talk about. Is you're my wearing outfit. a dress. I know. I'm we wearing have a dress. dress that you're wearing a dress. Well, I'm about to address And not the a dress. baggy crew sweatshirt and leggings. I'm wearing a dress and I'm still sitting cross-legged, even in a dress. I can't sit cute. I just don't, I have, if I'm on a chair, my feet are not on the ground. I can't do feet on the ground if I'm on a chair. Is this a new dress? No, I've had it for a long time. I went in my closet looking for a very specific dress. Like since we were a kid? No, I bought it a long time ago. And then I tried it on, I was like, I don't like this. And then I put it in my closet and I never wore it. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, I'm wearing this for a specific reason. Okay. Uh, because have you ever heard of like, uh, people talking about guys wearing gray sweatpants? And like what gray sweat, like, oh, you know, the guy, the guys wear gray sweatpants, whatever. Have to you like heard of show this? their wieners? <laughs> well, I, I wasn't going to say it's so crass, but um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like people talk about guys wearing gray sweatpants and how you can like see, you know, the shapes of their bodies and, and things. Why do you talk about, who do you talk about? That I don't with? talk, I don't talk about this. This is something people okay. talk about on social media. Um, and I've seen recently people talk about what is the female equivalent to, to uh, the gray sweatpants that oh. guys wear. Like, do guys have a thing where they're like, this is the thing that like, yeah, which is, I don't, I don't Is that really, what girls like? Girls are like, oh, gray sweatpants. Yeah, like that's, that. that's what's weird to me is that like, I don't know that girls are like, yes, wear those gray sweatpants. Maybe they are. I don't, I'm not, but like, I don't know if that's what maybe girls are like thinking that. But um, I've seen pe- girls say like, and people say, what's the male equivalent? And then guys are talking about like, this is the dress. Like you have, like they love when girls wear, it's not this dress. There's better versions of it. It was just like the closest thing I had to it. So what is it? 
does that do it for you? They're saying like the country, what is it? What are they calling it? They're calling it like the country milk or the milkmaid sundress. Uh-huh. Like, and, and everyone's saying that this is the dress that guys like are like, yes, when a girl wears this dress, like can't keep my hands off for her. Like, Whereas if a guy's wearing gray sweatpants. No, well, yeah, like, I don't think it's comparable because I don't think, I don't know if that's I true. I would find that like, wouldn't that, I would feel like that would be um, uh, offensive. What's offensive? Well, I don't know. I, I would like if, if people are purposely wearing, saying everyone look at the, look at my, the shape of my ween, wiener <laughs> pants. Like, I feel like I would be like, oh, come on. Like, I feel like that's like, uh, well, I mean, I guess like if you. Like want us to see wiener wieners, I guess. Well, then, I, yeah, then I don't. You're like, I don't know. I don't know the, the science behind the gray sweatpants phenomenon. Um, I think just like people started commenting on, like, oh, we can see your body shape in those, and then. But I feel like it'd be the brain. opposite in a, in what you're calling a milkmaid farmer's daughter's well, dress. Well, because like, look, because like this is what this is more. I'm showing you a picture of like what I think I've seen online is like that kind of vibe. Uh huh. And it's like a. They're calling it a milkmaid sundress. I don't know. So I guess no, my question. No, I don't think. I don't think so. You don't think so? That so what? That, that's like. like a, what is what is something that I can wear that like casual walk around the house? Is there some it, or is there something? Are you just gonna say everything because you're a sweetie pie? But is there something everything that I wear that you're wow. like, oh wow? When I wh- I want to like, you know, kiss her, or like I like the way her body I looks in that. Kiss her. I want to hold her hand. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think like well the equivalent for that, or is there something for a great sweatpants thing? I feel like would would be like yoga pants, right? I feel like mm-hmm. I remember when like um because that wasn't a thing. Like leggings all. you're talking about? Yeah, well yoga, yeah, like girls and like yoga. yoga pants are like the flared pants. What? I don't know. Like are you talking leggings. about leggings? Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. What, what? Yoga pants are flared. Well, yoga pants are what? yeah. Yoga pants are like from our generation. Now they're called flared leggings, but back in the day, like when I was in high school, yoga pants were flared leggings. Yeah, I do. Remember, yeah. Well, that, those like, um, I feel like that was like a new thing. It was like people wore like jeans or mm-hmm. f- farmer dresses or whatever, you know, whatever. Farmer then all of a sudden it was like everyone's doing yoga and they're wearing like, you know, what I yoga pants. yoga pants. Yeah. And I remember like that was like a thing and it was like, oh, okay, well, you know. I can see the shape of her legs and butt yeah so but you don't think of like i you, guess there's not as a man you haven't noticed like that guys in general there's like a thing that they're all like an outfit or clothing that they're all like oh wow girls wearing that i've just seen a few tiktoks <laughs> where guys are like when my girl wears this dress i'm like oh my gosh she's like she looks so pretty she looks so amazing blah 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 yeah uh, i mean i guess there's there's thing. There's. I mean. There's. I know. There's clothing items that you have mm-hmm. that I that I like am, am in favor of <laughs> that. Ha, you know that you wear in, in within a laundry cycle. You know uh-huh. that I'm like, oh yay, it's that day. You know, kind of. Things. <laughs> I'm so curious what that is because I don't even know. <laughs> well, it's like a couple like tank. I don't know. Like whatever. Okay. Yeah, but but there's no like. Um, yeah, I mean, I I try to answer your question, but yeah, no, we're not like, oh, dude, she's wearing the milkmaid <laughs> dress like that. Like the uh, you know, um. Well, that's what I've seen online. It's like the new thing everyone's talking about. She used to, I mean, if you guys are talking about the, like, if you Google it. It used to be like a girls in white pants thing too. I'm trying to. Oh, like, white pants. It was like a thing where, or like. I would never dare. Or like, um, like a hat girl. Hat girl? Yeah. Like fedora. I don't know. There was like things. A fedora. Um, but yeah, no, I'm sorry. Uh, I I tried it. I mean, try, try, I'm, I do feel like you're not accepting my answers. No, I do. Um, I do. I do. I mean, yeah, no. The, I mean, like, uh, you know, if there's like a stereotypical thing, like, I don't know, it, would it wouldn't be something casual that you wear every day. Cause you could like look at like what girls Halloween costumes are. Mm-hmm. And there's like, you know, very specific kind of like, you know, on the spectrum of like, um, more provocative Halloween costumes. <laughs> I don't yeah. know how to speak. Um, <laughs> That there's like uh, like a French maid. What is the why is that? Everyone wants like a French like a French maid. Thing. I don't know. I don't know why don't know. that's a popular thing. Um, I don't know. You're cleaning my house and you look good doing it. I guess maybe that's. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know why that's I, that's why I'm one. asking you. You're a guy. I'm not a guy. I, I, I googled. This is what I was on my phone. If you're watching, you saw me on my phone. Googled like what's the uh, gray sweatpants equivalent for women because this is something I feel like I keep seeing. 
everywhere. Yes. Um, so. Yeah. And now I'm seeing, okay, so on TikTok, I'm seeing this milk made dress thing, but on other places, I'm just seeing yoga pants, booty shorts, like Daisy yo- Dukes, yoga pants, um, spaghetti strap, tank top, leggings. Like everyone's saying leggings. So I guess, which is weird because I I am, I'm telling you. I'm so comfortable because I know that I own gray sweatpants and I'm thinking like when I went and bought those, Mm -hmm. where there was the person like, oh, here's this guy who's trying to show everyone his wiener. And then, you know, and then when I wear them, is everyone like looking at my wiener? Well, you don't wear gray sweatpants out and about. No, no. Wear them at home. Yeah. So who who's everyone? Is it me? I guess. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> it's just this so. It's like, so Are you I'm, so uncomfortable? I'm so uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just didn't know if you would. I, I and know, you know I, what? You I just, didn't know this was in your search history. Well, it's not. It just was popping up on my for you page. Like girls in these talking about this these. This is your for you page. This is your algorithm. Is, is just guys in gray sweatpants. Colleen. No, it's girls. My my for you page is women, and it is all like there's. It is if a straight man pops up on my for you page, I'm like, whose phone is this? That is not something that pops up on my for you page. It's girls, and but girls are talking about their boys and their guys, and their guys talking about this. Oh, okay. Um. But yeah, I, I I mean, I thought this would be more, maybe it's not more of a thing, but I keep seeing it on TikTok. And so I thought I'd come in here today wearing this little like weird farmer prairie girl dress. And you'd be like, ooh. And you were just, didn't, you're just like, huh, oh, you're wearing a dress. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I did notice and I was. I don't care. No, I, 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 I immediately it. noticed. And then you were like, it's for the podcast. It's for, it's for a thing. You're like, well, there's, there's a thing. I have, there's a bit about it. And I was like, oh, I'm, okay. So I, I didn't like be like, wow, you look. So well, I'm I'm so glad great. though, love. This is a this is very good. I don't want you to like me in dresses because that would mean I w- want feel the need to wear no, more but dresses. I do, but I do, I, but I do. Yeah, but like, don't say that because then I have to wear dresses. You know. Yeah. I'd rather wear sweatpants and a baggy shirt. Yeah. You said you liked um, leggings. You said you liked. I like. Uh, I wear leggings. So anyway, um. That maybe wasn't interesting at all. I, I thought maybe that would be, but maybe I'm <laughs> not okay? good at this. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. Um, okay. Uh, let's, let's talk about who needs to relax today, actually. I can't believe we haven't done that yet. I know. It's the wow. name of this podcast. Yes. So can I say who I, needs to, who I think needs to relax? Please. It's a quick one. So we have a car. We have a vehicle, right? And we have multiple keys for this vehicle. Yeah. And there's one key. That somehow always ends up in my hands. Yeah. That I hate. The kid sense key? Key sense. Key sense. Key sense. Yeah, it's a key. So you got, when I got this car, it came with three keys. And this is the one that you would give your teenage daughter. Because it- Why daughter? Why not son? Or son. Son, definitely. I just said, I don't know. We kept saying daughter. I don't know. (laughs) <laughs> when did I say daughter? About the dress. I don't know. I never or said I, anything about I a said, daughter. <laughs> no one has spoken of daughters. No. Uh, you know what it was? Is that <laughs> we're playing doll? I was playing dollhouse yesterday. Okay. And our daughter, the dollhouse came with a car, and our daughter thought to put her us in the car. She says, yes. Dad, a carrot in the car. Mama in the car, and Maisie in the car. Mm-hmm. But she put Maisie behind the wheel. Okay. And I took a picture of it to send to you because it was terrifying to me that idea oh, okay. so that's so what was in your head. head okay got it got um so it's yeah so it's for parents to give this key to their young children who i assume are learning how to drive or that they don't they're trusting with the family vehicle because it doesn't allow you to go above a certain speed limit which you can set yeah i know it this is why you, it's my relax it doesn't allow you to turn the music up past a certain for me you want to keep going yeah okay well i mean i know you can you're doing a great so job explain what the key sense key you are does yes um so it's the key senses it's does like parental that. controls it's parental yeah it's parental controls but somehow i always end up with it yeah and but we didn't set this we didn't ask for it and we didn't set this and we don't have children who drive so the fact that they're just like assuming we would definitely want a key that restricts you so what it it's so the worst yeah. what it does is Two, two very annoying things. One, you cannot go over a certain speed limit. If you go above like 70 mm-hmm. on the freeway, the speed limit is 65. If you go above 70, which sorry, I guess I break the law because I usually yeah. go over 70. Just not a me. Tad. It's not a problem for not me. Not a lot. Just like, you know, around 72 miles an hour sometimes on the highway. I don't like speeding. Well, it screams at you. Yeah, it screams at you. The car screams at you, starts blinking 
It's like panicking's like you're going too fast. Key I'm sense, key sense, key sense. in you. It is, and then it's like it forces you to slow down because like the whole car like beeps at you and blinks. It's crazy, which seems so dangerous. So it's there's like that startling. And the other thing that is so annoying about freaking key sense is that you cannot turn up. You cannot listen to music louder than this. Like you can barely hear it. You cannot hear it over the sound of the car. And you, when you try to turn it up, it says no. Key sense limited the audio or something. And it's so annoying. And I know there's a way to fix it, but the way to fix it is you have to have a different key with you in the car when you have the key sense key and you have to go into the settings and push it. And by the time I get in the car. Oh, I don't know like, how to fix I don't. I, I wouldn't even begin to know how to set. I've looked it up because it drives me crazy. Yeah. But you have to do it in the car with the key sense key and also another key. Grown up key. And you have to go through all these settings and do this whole thing. And whenever I get in the car, I'm in a hurry because I'm taking the kids to some class or something. Just sitting in the car, I'm not going to just sit there for keys? 20 minutes trying to like reset a key when I'm using the key sense key because I can't even find the other keys in the first place. You know, it sounds like something that would be pretty easy for like a, a kid who grew up with a lot of technology to sit and figure Literally, that out. Literally, the one person who can't figure that out is the parents. Is the parent, yeah. The, but I feel like the teenager is going to figure that out immediately. It is infuriating. I hate that what freaking key. What a waste key. of money that- And en- I always end up with it. Engineering. That- I want to like Blair Taylor Swift or Olivia Rodrigo or anyone in the car. And it's like, I have to, I can't sing along because my voice is immediately louder than the, the all, you can't hear anything. But if in a world, which is terrifying- uh, when our kids are older and they're driving, terrifying. Um, I would for sure give them the key sense key. I wouldn't because I feel like it's more dangerous to drive on the freeway and go a little bit above the speed limit and have the whole car blink and blare at you. Like that is dangerous. Like it scares me every time. I don't think it's that start. I think, I think in this, it's not, you're backing up into something and it's like alert. You're about to back into something. It just, it just kind of like, it's kind of calm. Calmly says like approaching top speed for key sense or whatever. No. But it's disappointed in you for sure. No, it's obnoxious and it is alarming. And I don't like it. And that's who needs to relax. You startle easily. That is very true. (laughs) Um, Yeah, I think Yusinski is who I think needs to relax. What about for you? It is. I mean, who who took the time to make that? I mean, maybe maybe it's protecting. I think that there's a good. Young people driving. Obviously, I'm being dramatic and there's I understand the the purpose of it and that it can be wonderful. I don't want to use it. Yeah. Don't use that key then. We have two other ones. That I can never find. I think they're all in the same purse or backpack. You don't have a purse. All right. Who needs to relax for you, love? I got a few. Okay. So I don't know where to start. Start with the um, one that needs to relax. But we were most. talking about clothes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I heard the phrase uh, this week. I bought a, sh- I bought a, a, a hooded sweatshirt somewhere. Mm-hmm. And it was borderline like like what's what size am I was confusing to me because they were for some reason they weren't like it wasn't like small it was like numbers, uh like it was numbers for a hooded sweatshirt yeah it was like one two or three yeah huh. um in any case I go to the sales salesman I go uh, how much is this gonna you know shrink or whatever like you know what I mean like it's like I'm kind of like in between this for lengthwise. And he goes, pre-shrunk. Hmm. And I, I think this is something we as a society, we, we're just like, it's, it's a lot. It's I feel like it's the most common lie told to people and that, that is never called out. Pre-shrunk is a lie. Nothing can be pre-shrunk because it hasn't shrunk yet. And I guarantee you, if I buy this garment and I put it in our laundry machine, it will shrink. And then it will be shrunk, but it can't be pre-shrunk because it hasn't shrinked yet and it will shrink. It's going to shrink. Everything (laughs) clothes wise that I buy and I wash it, I'm telling you, I could wash it on cold. I could dry it on just air. It shrinks. Your face. I've Could, never even thought about this. I, I can't believe this is a thing. Is this a thing that people go to when you're buying clothes? They go up to the person and go, will this shrink? How much will this shrink? And they say it's pre-shrunk. I don't know. It's a concern of mine. I'm sure it's a concern. I, I guess I've thought about like, oh, this might shrink. But I don't think much further than that. I go, oh, this might shrink. And then I like. Yeah. I'm usually happy about that. You want it to be shrunk. You want it to sh- shrink? Well. You want it to be more form fitting? 
I don't, I don't know. I guess I don't even put that much thought into it, but are things like labeled like, as pre-shrunk? I'm not like super tall, but I'm tall. Yeah. And so lots of things like- You're they, pretty tall. They become like too short. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, um, or like, it's like, ah, oh, it fits perfectly, but I know I'm going to wash it once and it's, then it's not going right. to, you know what I mean? So it's like, well, but if I get the bigger one, then I'm going to like want it to shrink. So I'm like, yes, put it yes. in on high to like shrink it more. But there's, there's never, there's never nothing that's not going to, sh it's pre sh You're like, what do you mean? So you're, you're in this factory- You've made, you've, you've, you've sewn, you've cut and sewn this sweatshirt and then you, you ran it on high to make, you know, you ran them all on high in a dryer and a washer to make sure that they're. Yeah. Maybe that's what that means. Sh pretty shrunk. I just, I'm just not buying it. You don't believe I've it. I've never, I've never seen the process. Is that a thing that they, they say like pre-shrunk on labels and stuff now? Yeah, they, sure. They do that? Yeah. Uh-huh. I've never heard of that. That's so It's cool. like a thing. Yeah. It's like a thing. What? That's cool. It's not cool. I've never even saying. heard of this. I'm, saying it's, I'm not so saying it's, it's not cool. It's, I'm saying it's a lie. Oh, it's a lie. How can something happen that hasn't happened? How can you pre do something? Well, you just explained it. They would, they would be washing it. But I'm saying I don't buy it, but I'm saying it's a lie, but they don't, but I don't think that they're doing that. Have you tested this theory? I've tested it on every shirt I've ever worn. You've tested it on a shirt that says, it's, did you buy one of these sweatshirts that he yes. said is pre shrunk? Yes. And have you washed it? Yes. And it shrunk? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you lying? <laughs> No, this is what happens with everything, everything okay. I've ever bought ever. Yeah, shrinking clothes can be very annoying. Yeah. I'm sorry. I've just never seen one that says pre-shrunk. That's so interesting. I'm, no? I'm, I believe you. I, I know that it exists. I'm saying like, I've never seen that as like an advertisement. And if I saw it, I'd be like, that's weird. It's a big thing for like guys like-, like Yeah, that makes sense. Well, especially things. like if it gets too short, that's annoying. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want, yeah. I'm sorry that you um, went through that. Can I keep going? Of course. Uh, I have- more relaxes. Okay. I have this thing. You're gonna. I feel like you're, this one's gonna tickle you. Okay. I have. It's. I have this thing where I can be. I can be out in the world, right? Mm -hmm. I can like walk into like a, a store, mm -hmm. and I can be so overstimulated by, it, like, in the audio fashion, like by sounds, by mm -hmm. like oh, people are talking and all this, this things dinging and this alarm's mm -hmm. going off and whatever. And I can be so I'd be like, oh, I can. I can. I'm hearing a hundred things at once, mm -hmm. and it's so overstimulating. Mm -hmm. And then I can be home and I could have four, four people mm -hmm. at the same time going, dad, daddy. You have four children? Dada. Well, well no, three and you. Yeah. Eric, lovey, mm -hmm. dad, dada, 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 watch this, dada, watch this. And I can hear none of it. Yeah, that's wild. Sam. I have this like selective dad hearing that is, that is, that I've evolved Right. So that I, I think so that I took as like a life saving, life preservation thing. But like I can be overstimulated by noise and hear it, everything. But it could be the thing that ends your life, love. <laughs> but like because the but reason you're hearing there, the reason you're hearing Eric Lovey is because the kids have said daddy so many times that I go Lovey. I know, and I still don't, and I still don't hear it. And I think it's evolution. I feel like it's it's like it's a survival technique. But like sometimes one of our kids can be like dad, dad, daddy, daddy, and they could say it a hundred times, and then finally. <laughs> The hundredth time I'll be like, what? <laughs> like, is that like I, I don't hear any of it. Which is shocking to me because I'm the exact opposite. I feel like I'm like exactly like every noise and sound they breath they do. I'm like, <gasps> like I like. Well, no, but I, I hear when they do something that they shouldn't be doing. I'm that's the thing I hear. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, but if uh, like. So it's a, it's like an evolutionary tactic is what I'm saying. Like, so mm -hmm. like, it's like, it's still for survival, but like for me also, like I have to survive. And maybe and the think, women have the evolutionary, like have to know. hear it all because the man is like, I'm tuning it out. Well, it's not that I'm tuning it out. It's it's just that like, if I, our kids now, especially the twins are in the, watch this, watch this. Yes. Well, Dada, watch Wesley this. Dada, is. watch this. And once one of them sees him doing a watch this, the other one's like, well, daddy, watch this, watch this, watch this. And then once... Once Flint, Flint sees it, he's like, daddy, watch this, watch this. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, I got three people at the same time. Like, watch it. If I watched everything that those kids wanted me to watch, which sometimes is very exciting. It's sometimes <laughs> it's them just pushing a Hot Wheels down a two foot That's the exciting slide. thing. Sometimes it's they lift their leg. Right. Like, yeah. It's, it's hilarious. Um, um, well, the thing is, though, our children don't ever give up on the watch this. That's what's shocking to no, me. No, they'll is keep that going. Yeah. Until th I'm, there's no end of watch this until you watch until this. Until you watch it. Yeah. And you have, you cannot look away. Mm -mm. Wesley in particular will say, mama, watch this. And Wesley watches me watching this. So like if he's putting a car, like to go down a ramp, does mama watch this? Watch this. And watch this. I watch and he does not look at the car going down the ramp. No, he watches he looks you at me. watch it, yeah. 
Like he watches me to make no, sure I'm watching is, every second. Yeah, you have to watch. If well, he's and, yeah, and coloring, if he's dancing, watch. if he's jumping, if he's doing something, you have to watch. He is only looking at you, your eyeballs to ensure that his eyeballs are watching dish. Yeah. And so, and Wesley doesn't give up. Watch this. Wesley, once he gets his mind on something, it's not over until it's been addressed and talked about and solved. And you reacted to. Yes. Well, wow. And so, you have yes, to, get, you have to, you have you have to, to say wow. Wowed. So the, the other ones you can get away with, you know, glancing away or, or not so having a huge reaction. Uh -huh. Wesley, no yeah. way. So that's why I'm like, it's shocking that you can tune it out because it never, he will not stop until you watch this and- Eventually it breaks through, but yeah, I mean, I, it's, uh, it's, I just thought I just, I, it occurred to me the other day, like I, I walked into a store and I was like, oh my gosh, all these noises. It's like, it's like too much, a lot going on, I'm very overstimulated. And then, I, it, and then I laughed thinking about like how, like earlier in that day, someone was like, dad, dad, daddy, daddy, dad, 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 daddy, dad, dad. And I didn't, and I, and I was just like do to do in my own head. You know what I mean? It's interesting because you knew that it happened. So and you like, see it. I know you see, I said, I said I it'll you because I, I know you see it happen all the time. Cause you're like, you'll be like, lovey. Can you watch him do the <laughs> I'll be thing? Like, lovey. Flynn is trying to tell you something. <laughs> Wesley wants you to see this. Um, but it's funny cause you are registering that it's happening. Yeah. You're just like not trying not to, I think my, my body subconsciously is trying not to die. Sleeping with your eyes open. Something. Yeah. It's not sleeping. I don't know. What, um, hey, I, I have to stop this whole conversation because I'm why? really stressed out about your phone. <laughs> your face is so what's horrified. What's happening? I, is there I a, couldn't tell you. Is that a string? So what happened was like the top of my phone case cracked. And the whole time we've been talking, I've just been fidgeting with the crack. And then there was like a little piece of like fabric that just like exploded out of Wait, it. Wait, that's fabric? Can you can show a close up to one of the cameras? This yeah. is what's, well, what's what happening? Is this? I guess it's like some sort of fabric lining like inside the case. It it was, I was like, is, is this a string? But it is it this was like disturbing to look at. Plastic, what's happening? I still feel like I don't quite understand what's happening. Anyway, he was playing with this like dirty looking string and I was just really confused as to what... This this part this part cracked, and I was just fiddling with it, and then this pieces started to come out of it like that, and yeah, it's just like a, it's just like the the lining, that's the lining inside. It was just weird and gross looking. Disturbing, it's so yeah, strange. Horrifying, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> but like it's funny. You could if you, I don't know where I'm sure you could find the moment where I was talking, and, and I and I could it. just see you you like did a genuine double take at it. You go. Because like, I was like, what is happening? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but you um, just, yeah, ignored it till now. Uh, which was shocking, one that I remembered, and two, that I didn't interrupt to talk about it. I was, I'm very proud of myself for both of those things. Um, sorry, did you have another relax? I did, yeah. Um, if that's all right. Oh, please. Are we, please. Are we just, do we have time? You can we always have time. Um, I want to talk about music. This is like, this very on. It's like we scripted this episode. We're talking about Coachella. We're talking about fashion, outfits. And now I wanted to talk about music. Okay. Um, when I was a kid, I don't know that I liked music at a young age. I mm -hmm. feel like I liked the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme song. Mm -hmm. um, and that was like music. And then I remember the first CD, which maybe we've talked about this a long time ago on this podcast. The first CD I ever bought, my dad bought for me. And it was Sheryl Crow. That's amazing. And my first concert was junior high and it was Weird Al Yankovic. Mm -hmm. I thought um, it was Yankovic. It's not? Sure. Um, apologies to... I don't know which one it apologies is. Apologies to Weird uh, that I do not pronounce your last name correctly. I love him. Um, and then I went through a phase when I was like a young skater kid where I was, it was like ska, like big, big into ska and like punk music. And even for a time, like hardcore stuff. Do you know what that is? It was just like kind of screaming and you just mm -hmm. kind of like watch you just go to the concerts to kind of like fight in a circle i okay when i was like a little skater boy like into that which must have been like interesting for my parents because they liked you know different kinds of stuff um so for me some for me it's interesting having children and then being very musical and into music and wanting to hear songs they all the love time music, yes. and especially like the 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 genre the tastes of that of this music changing mm -hmm. um like it was the truck tunes you know what i mean still is sometimes and and you know Jojo. A lot of Jojo, a lot of things like that. 
Um, but now our son, our son Flynn has, has someone has, someone created a YouTube account six years ago. It looks like mm -hmm. from my, from my research, I'm going to give them a, sh I'm going to shout them out here. <laughs> it's called fabulous cars. Vivu. Okay. And it's someone who takes parts of the Pix Disney Pixar Cars movies and cuts all the audio out and just mm -hmm. shows like exciting clips from those movies and puts in like going hard, hard, like Latin house music. Right. And Flynn loves, loves it. Loves it. And these are like club bangers. Like this is like wild, we're talking like clubbing. DJ Snake, Lil Yachty. Coachella, you know, people losing their mind, bangers. Mm -hmm. to, and it's just the car, it's Lightning McQueen going around a track. Yeah. And Flynn loves it. Yes. And he wants me to play them when, when we're doing dance in the car. And well, in oh, dance party, yes. But in the car, when we're on the way to like, to drop him off at like one of his things, and he'll want it. And he, he calls loud music in the car rock and roll. Mm -hmm. He says, I want it rock and roll, which means he wants it loud. Mm -hmm. So I'm me. And I'm driving around, <laughs> bump, rock and rolling, Latin, like house, trap, dance, like music. It's, and yeah. it's, it's, in, it's pretty cool. Yeah, he and loves it. it. And interesting. Um, you know what I love about Flynn is his music taste does change a lot because there was a big chunk of his life where he was a ballad boy. Yeah. He loved, he loved a, ballad. a ballad. His favorite JoJo Siwa song was a ballad. He like, um, there was a, multiple ballads that he was like, put this one on and he just wanted to like yeah. wrecking ball Miley Cyrus like I mean he and he sings them like eyes closed yeah feeling it yeah and not only do our kids have different tastes in music but they experience music very differently right have you noticed this mm -hmm. Flynn absorbs for the first few listens yeah yes he, he just kind of stares He's, he will it. not dance he doesn't want to talk he doesn't first want to few sing listens, he needs to like take it in. he yeah. takes it and he sits since he was a baby he's done that yeah and then Maisie immediately is trying to sing along and she'll like know the lyrics after one lesson. Yes. And Wesley is dancing, dancing. like giving a, give him a beat. And that kid is dancing. Yeah. He moves. Okay. So, um, um, well, it's just funny to me that, yeah, at this point, I mean, all these songs, they're completely in Spanish. Yes. And they are like, I'm telling you, they are like beat drop Vegas pool party type right. DJ song. I know. It, it's and he and it's just so funny to me that, like, how much favorites. he and he loves it. And he so, loves it. Whoever, so it's amazing. whoever you are who made that channel, I mean, this particular his favorite one six years ago has 13 million views. Mm -hmm. So it's not like we discovered this. Like, no, I mean, this is people like this. Yeah. And someone was like, people are going to love they're good this. beat drops in those songs. Like we have dance parties to them. Like the beat drops are pretty good. I know. At one point, I, I, like I'm on I drugs. did the, it, it was like. <laughs> I was going up and up and I was like, okay, hey, cause a beat drop. And I, and Flynn was like, no, not yet. Yeah. It's, it was, it's like a knew. misdirect beat drop. There's a lot of those. Yeah. Um, for the club, you know? Yeah. He, he loves it. And, dance uh, party. it's, but yeah, it's, so that's super fun that he's insisting that I play that when I drive him around and like very loud because mm -hmm. like what that must look like. I love that. It's, it looks like a real cool dad driving around. I love it. I love that our kids love music because I love music and music. It's interesting to me to hear that music was not like a big thing to you. you didn't have like favorite songs and stuff growing up because music was like, that was it for me. Like yeah. I, my mom always talks about, I was like always singing. I've always loved music. I know all my favorite songs from like my whole childhood, my favorite like things that I listened to. Yeah. And I remember feeling like I was going to explode listening to songs. I loved as a little girl, like how I still do today when I love a song and I just feel like my insights yeah. are going to come out. I'm going to turn inside out. I love song. I feel like I'm going to explode. I love it so much. I can't, but it's shocking to me to hear that you didn't feel that way. Cause I feel like you, you're very, you're a good musician and you also have a really good ear. It just took time. Yeah. No, it's, it's just like, I mean, my, you're like a record player when I was younger. My dad was in a band. My dad, you yeah, know, what I I mean? know my dad played drums. Like, so it was like, music was like a big part of our lives, but like, I, I wasn't like, I would no, I was just like playing in the woods. Like I wasn't like, I need to like listen to, I mean, not that I can recall, like I wasn't like, <laughs> But it's like such a big part of their lives, which I yeah. love because you, you know, you're a music major. Is there is there a song or music that makes you feel like super emotional? Not I don't I don't mean like, oh, it makes me want to cry, but just any emotion like like extreme. Like, does that happen to you? Like how that happens to me where I get like I feel like I when I hear a song that like my, it feels like my insides are fluttering and like I want to turn my body inside out and, and there's no words I could say to get someone to understand 
like how like I feel like I'm going to explode when I hear a song that like means a lot to me. Um, not not really. I mean, sometimes I mean, there, there's been different phases of that. Like there's like my musical taste kind of like I've found artists and music that I liked and that and it doesn't it hasn't really grown. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's not something that I'm like seeking out new music and new bands. Like I wish I had more of that in me. But like um, like I went backwards in time and found a lot of bands and singers that I liked. And I kind of just had those and just listened to them enough to where it's like, I'm like, oh yeah, they don't elicit as much of a response as they did when I first listened to them. Mm -hmm. you no, know, it doesn't happen that way. I feel like that with all different types of art, like dance, even slam poetry I've been watching lately. And I like cry too. I think it's so good. Like there's certain like poetry that's amazing. Like art, any kind of art in general, like makes me feel like I'm going to like burst into sobs or screams of happiness musicals like do that and they make me. Me musicals do yeah it's a weird thing we, yeah i don't know there's something about a, i did not know this yeah 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 a bunch of there's something about especially live there's something about a bunch of people on stage in you know in unison not in unison you know what i mean but like you know all singing together and it being some like there's something like you know, people singing together, like, Powerful. you know what I mean? Yeah. There's something about it that listens to a physical, like emotional response. Sure. Yeah. Speaking of I think that. I, I think I was watching you in Waitress. I think I cried every time I went. Well, I thought that was just because you were times. proud of me. I didn't know that was because you love musicals. Well, it's just also overwhelming to see you. I yeah. mean, that I mean, but yeah, like I think, yeah, I get like. Well, a, and I don't mean like that was just because you were proud of me. Like that was amazing. So sweet and lovely that you were just so proud of me. I feel like, yeah, I feel like every musical makes me cry. I feel like. Yeah, me too. Um, Speaking of musicals, though, I'm so glad you actually brought up musicals and your love for musicals because there were a lot of comments on our episode a couple of weeks ago and I didn't bring it up last week because it was an episode with my mom last week. And um, we got a lot of lovely comments on the episode with my mom. I was reading them today, but um, I wanted to bring up a bunch of comments that we got from the week prior really quickly, if that's okay. Sure, so yeah. I'm so glad you brought that up because I would have forgotten. Okay. So you brought up how Jesus Christ Superstar is your favorite musical, best rock musical of all time. Yeah. Did I say little? I feel like, yeah, Little Shop. I think you brought up Little Shop, but you said Jesus Christ Superstar was the best rock musical of all time. I think so. I, yeah, I mean. And I was surprised by this. And I thought everyone in the comments would be like, yeah, what is he talking about? But a lot of people agreed with you. A lot of people were like, that is the best rock musical of all time. It is so incredible. It's so good. And that shocked me because I've never felt that way about that musical. Have you listened to it? Yeah, but I feel like I need to go give it another listen because so many people are saying that. And I was like, what? Oh, uh, Heaven because on Their Minds, like the Judas song in that. I know, but it, like, think about, like but think about, crushes. but think about the other rock musicals. Rent, Rent, mm. you think it's better than Rent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that's wild to me. Like the music? I think yeah. Rent is so incredible. I love Rent. No, I'm not, I'm not. So freaking not, much. Rent's like, okay. It's little like, Shop of Horrors. I said Little Shop. Why are you screaming at me about not, the things I'm that I said? I'm not screaming. Rent, I'm rent, rent is fine. I think it's like, Ugh. Rent is like, uh, the music is like. Be careful with your words. The music These is like, words. um, it's like sticky. It's like cute. It's like, um. Sticky? I don't know. It's like, it's comedic. You know what I mean? It's like. What? In the same Have way that like waitress. Comedic. Parts of it are. Parts of it are. Yeah. They're like, yeah, they're like La Vie Bohème. Like they're trying to be funny. I don't know. It's like, but it's like. I guess there's funny clever. moments, but I would never describe Rent as I don't a know. funny I'm, musical. I'm, just try, I'm trying to pick words to like say to, to why is it's not, it's not the same thing. I, I, I don't know Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ Superstar. Superstar well enough to say this confidently, but I feel as though there would be just as many comedic beats in Jesus Christ Stu Superstar as there would be in Rent. Is there not funny lines or funny moments in Jesus Christ Superstar? Like little moments where you're like, huh, in your seat? Because I feel like that's what Rent has. I mean, you know what happened to him, right? Well, of course I do. But like, <laughs> you also said that he has like a girlfriend really? in this musical. So I don't know. Well, I was, but I just uh, couldn't little, believe. Uh, little Shop, I feel like would, would also be up there as maybe like the, like, I feel like it's a tie. Like those are my two favorites. Well, there's also, there's, uh, sorry, I was looking at, because I made a list of like a bunch of rock musicals. Like, I'm surprised no one said, I don't love this musical, but like Grease is technically a rock musical, isn't it? And so many people love Grease. It's not my favorite musical, of course. I think that there's a lot of musicals that are better than that. But um, yeah, Rent, Rocky Horror Show, come on. That's a great rock it's a musical. Movie. It's a musical. Musical movie. Well, but it's also a musical on stage. They do? Yes. Yeah. There's performances of it all over the place. I think they just perform it in movie theaters. Next when they to Normal, watch it. great rock musical. I don't know. It. Spring Awakening. So many people love Spring Awakening. Yeah. Hair, a lot of people love Hair. Hair was a very popular rock musical. 
I love this one wasn't as popular, but like Bat Boy, I think is one of the best rock musicals ever. Uh, I love Bat Boy. Do you know that one? Not really, no. Oh, it's so good. That one is funny. Mm -hmm. Rock of Ages. There's so many good rock musicals. I rock was of Ages surprised. is like a jukebox musical, right? It's still a rock musical though. Yeah, but jukebox musical, that doesn't count. Okay. First of all, rude. Second of all. Come on, jukebox. Like, get out of I, here. I'm jukebox not a, musical. Listen, I'm not a fan of here. jukebox musicals. I'm not no, a fan of them. You. And I really do like Rock of Ages. I think it's very fun. Like Moulin Rouge. Rock of Ages, like I, I really no. like Rock of Ages, but um, I'm just surprised. I'm just so surprised that there are so many people in the comments who love Jesus Christ Superstar so much. So it makes me want to go re-listen to it again. But I also want to know in the comments, if you said that that was your favorite, explain to me why, what about it is so, because people are like passionate about it. Interesting. And I'm curious why. And so you would say for you, it's a tie between Little Shop and Jesus yeah, it's, I mean, it's different kinds of like music, but those were like the two you have to understand, like, that's how I got interested in like acting and performing was, was there was the place called the Pox Opera House in New Jersey where I was around where I was born. And when I was very young, my dad played drums in the orchestra pit there. Mm -hmm. And so like some of my earliest memories are seeing live Jesus Christ Superstar and Los Shop of Horrors right. and being getting like after the show being eaten by the plant, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And all this stuff. Yeah. So, I, but I just, I mean, that's so why I heard it a lot. My dad practicing a lot yeah. and would play it a lot. Um, so maybe I'm biased, but it's also like, it's way better than any of those other ones. You Better than those. Rent, really? Yeah, yes. And I really liked Rent. I went to go see Rent when it first came out. I remember I, I was like, Rent. I was like swept up in the whole Rent thing too when it first came out. I thought it was great. I think that people oftentimes with musicals have a connection and a bond with musicals. One, because they're like a specific musical. One, because it's a good musical, but also because of the memories and like sentimental things attached to it. Because when I think about Rent, I guess it isn't so much that it's like, it's the best musical of all time or whatever. I do think it's a great musical. And I think it would like did a lot for so many different communities. And it was like, you know, huge at the time for what it was doing and the message it was sending and, and, the, and whatever. But anyway, I, the reason when I think about rent, I think about being 13 and being in the lobby of the theater at my high school and um, a bunch of like junior and senior high school kids were singing La Vie Boheme and Would you, Will You Light My Candle together. And I was like, what are they saying? And they were saying bad words. And I'm 13, fresh out of homeschooling into a public school. And I'm seeing these people who are passionately singing theater, theater who are kids. just when like that me. show came out, they loved it. I know, but love, like, it was the first time in my life where I think I was like, oh, these people are like me. They're weird yeah. and and they love to sing and dance. They don't care if anyone's watching. They love to perform and they love musicals. And so that was my, I think one of my first awakenings of theater where I was like, I've always loved theater, but that was the first time I'd seen other theater people like me. And yeah. I was like, so I think that's why I like rent so much because it like it. a very special. And like for you, your dad like played and those yeah. are great musicals too. I, I also um, auditioned for rent and had, it was probably one of the most embarrassing and worst auditions story. of yeah. my life. Have I told it already? Oh, on this I don't podcast? know if you told it here, but I've told it to me. I, I love the story. Um, like when I was in LA, like for like they were doing it, some, some big theater out here. And so my, I mean, TV film agent sent me in for this thing. I was just like, Oh, okay. And they're like, yeah, they want you to learn this song. And like, whenever I had done this, kind of musical audition for a TV thing. Like it just brought my for guitar. For TV, you mean for like the live filming of no, it? No, it wasn't for, the for movie? that. It was for a production of it at like Pasadena Playhouse or somewhere, oh, somewhere you said big for like TV. that. But I'm saying forever, well, whenever I have auditioned for like musical parts on TV shows, whatever, like, then they want you to sing a song, like just bring my guitar and like sing a song, which is what, I, I don't know why I thought that's what it was going to be. But like, it wasn't. There was like, you know, a piano player and a table with like 20 people. Have, had you ever been to a, like a musical audition No, I never, I mean, I'd done musicals in college, but I never like did the whole, like, no, I wasn't, I was more of like a straight actor. So it wasn't like, I wasn't doing, I didn't have vocal training. I wasn't like, but, uh, but they were like, Oh, he's just, it's the rock singer guy. So mm -hmm. it was like, it's just like For Roger. That. Yeah. Roger. Sure. Um, and, but like, I had never been in that situation where you walk in the room and there's a table with 20 people and there's an, like a pian a pianist, the accompanist. Mm -hmm. And like, I was like, they like, Oh, you can put your guitar down. And I was like, Oh, and for me singing like a happy, it's like, it's like easier. Would you ever holding. sing like the one song glory? Yes. And, okay. but the, um, the piano just like, I walked in and I was just like, oh my God, there's a lot of people in here. They're like, oh, you can put your guitar down. And I was like, oh, uh, and then all of a sudden the piano just started going. Oh no. And I, fro I do, 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 and I didn't, but it was fat. It was a fast song. Oh, then but, it wasn't that song. That's a very slow song. Yeah. It was a fast song. 
because I remember the piano just started going and I was like, and I, and I didn't do anything. I literally froze and didn't sing a word. Do you know just if it was for there. Mark or for Roger? I'm assuming for Roger if you brought a, a guitar. He's a rock guy, yeah. Um, that's so interesting. I wonder what they were um, going to have yeah, you sing. They, they, they didn't tell you what you were singing? No, I knew what song I was singing. I just can't remember it right now. Oh, I and see. It, and it was fast. And, and, but like, I thought I was just going to play it on guitar. Yeah. And then this p p pianist just started like going. For, it, felt, it felt like he was doing it like tr like triple time or whatever. Mm -hmm. like you, listen, you ever listen to something and like speed it yeah. up? Like it felt like he'd hit the button 10 times. Like it felt so fast. I didn't sing anything. I didn't do anything. Just stood there in front of all those people. Oh. So they eventually stopped and they go, you start over? And I was like, uh, I was like, yeah, okay. Uh, and they were like, don't worry about it. It's, it's your audition. It's your audition. This is so for, then, this did, is for why, you. Then you should have been like, then let me use my guitar. Well, I, I, what I should have been was like, was gone home. Like, if, <laughs> I've done yeah. that before in an audition. Um, but yeah, I've, I mean, everybody waiting there also had a guitar and like a leather jacket and like this, you know what I mean? Like it was just me and 20 dudes all dressed and looked the same. And uh, I bombed it real hard. And I said, never, never send me to something like that. Oh no, I bet that was so again. Cause I've done like musical stuff like since I've been out here, but it's for like, for like a you know, musical pilot, you know, like, like a character in, in a TV show that plays in a band. Like I've done stuff like that right. like a few times, but like, yeah, no, I never, I never did that whole thing where you audition when you, and this is your audition song and you sing it with the piano you player. You have a book. Huh? You didn't have a book? No. Like all your no, different 16 I had, bar no, cuts. No, I had a headshot and the sides, man. Wow. I never, I didn't do that whole, I wasn't from that world. It wasn't something, I mean, it, in hindsight, I'm like, oh, I wish I knew that this is what I was going to be doing. And I wish I would like, tr like did, that wasn't your did fault though. Vocal lessons and things. You're, no, you're, it's you're, nobody's, nobody's you're, fault. Your manager agent or someone should have like warned you of how to prepare. Like that's not fair that you didn't know how to prepare for that. I don't, I don't think, yeah, I don't think they were just like, Oh yeah, you sing, right. You play guitar. Like I got you this audition, but I didn't think, yeah, that was a yawn. It was an inside. Yeah. I'm tired. I'm you're sorry. But I'm not inside bored. of your brain. I know, but I'm not bored with your story. I, mean, I could listen no, I to you talk about like theater and auditions. Um, uh, I blew it. I blew it. I I'm blew so it. Sorry. And I, then I just, I couldn't get through the song the second time either. And they kind of pitied me, I think. And I walked out. Yeah. Um, I didn't get it. You didn't? No. <laughs> I think you'd be a good Roger. Uh, yeah. If I, in like a high school production, sure. No, I think you could do Roger really well. Um. I can sing a musical. Yeah, you certainly can. I did it a couple times. Like I can, I can get there. And you there. didn't have to audition for those? No, I did. But, but I mean, it was, it was in, yeah. And it was with the, the music director or were whatever. You that guy that the, were you that guy in school where like the director was like, Hey, I want you for this part. Just come in, hang out. And like, here, just try to sing this and like helped you through it. Like, is Literally that you? exactly what happened I'm to me. I'm sure it was. Yeah. Well, so you I didn't would, have to I would go normally the get whole, like, like the non-singing role. Like the, you know, there's always yeah. kind of like the character actory kind of like. Like in Pippin, I was Pippin's brother. But and, you were the lead in, in um, How to Succeed in right. Business. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying like in Pippin, I was Pippin's brother. And in Cabaret, I was like the Ernst Ludwig, like the yeah. guy. And then, I, and then, um, but like, yeah, in, in, um, in How to Succeed, uh, it was, it was like, it was that. It was like, I didn't, I didn't even, I didn't audition. Cause I was yeah, like, I feel like every and then they were like, like, they were like idiot guy. Like we think you'd be really good for this. And I was yeah. like, I, this is not me. I can't sing. Th Cause I like. J. Pierpont Finch, like the lead of that character, of that show has like 25 yeah. songs mm -hmm. on stage the entire time. And it's 25 songs. And I was like, I can't. And dancing and all that. And then, then they were like, oh, we think you could do it. And so I didn't even go to audition. But they made me go to callbacks mm -hmm. anyways. And I went to, to, to just callbacks after everyone else had already left. And I just like worked on trying to sing it with the musical director and then yeah they, well, yeah literally that's I feel like that's at least back in, I don't know how it is now but back when we were in high school and college it was like that it was always a theater teacher or director trying to get like the one straight guy who can kind of sing to come in and play the lead like I feel like that was like always a thing yeah. it was well, like yeah and yeah, it was like you don't have to audition like just come in and like just try yeah. to sing this a little bit and see what happens like I don't know if that's a common thing but that was for me and every right. like it sounds like a trope like it like something that yeah that happens um I was a senior it was like my last show ever and I did end up winning like a college theater festival awards for it so yeah. like it went fine and, I know, was, very, you're so and, was, good. and was like super fun i know you're like the most talented person i know no you are uh, um we've been talking a long time i think we need to be a three hour so we're just excited I'm to hungry. talk to you i'm hungry too I and i'm kids. also tired i miss our kids too i miss my rocks but you have to read me those comments at some point i know so please leave some more comments and i'll read them to eric next week all right 
All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.